Hey guys, so it's time to do a quick little comparison here between the iOS 10 Beta 1 on the iPhone 6s uh, and the uh, Developer Preview 3 Android N on the Nexus 5X to see you know which one is coming with the better performance. Uh, and I've been running the uh, actual Developer Preview on my Nexus 6P and it seems to be pretty stable. Uh, so I wanted to compare against Apple's latest software here, fresh from WWDC, and which one's going to boot on faster. Starting off, we do have the iPhone up and available, and the Nexus isn't too far behind. I remember when it was very slow, uh, so that uh, is pretty good. You can see we are running the latest. Uh, like uh, developer softwares here so let's see yeah you can see basically down here what it's saying uh, so I think we've shut down everything as well to make it fair that'll update in a bit uh, but you can see we do have the new apps here as well as the new interface of iOS 10 so let's see, let's see which is quicker here. We have got some apps on both of them which are about comparable and we're just going to open up some of them. So a little bit slow here on the iPhone, hopefully it won't continue like that. eBay, that was the iPhone, so nice recovery there. Uh, music that was the iPhone I think a little bit slower with this one and Facebook again iPhone which is nice dialer iPhone again and the messaging iPhone that a little bit quicker there. What about the camera? So and got annoying pop up there. And then this stuff. Yes, I know how to do that. So we're just gonna do that one again for fairness. Go. Cool. So to me it seems the iPhone a little bit faster again, uh, to be honest we do have App Store ah, so the Google App Store is a little bit faster here some really weird delay there with this one on iOS 10 uh, which is a bit unexplainable we do have Clock Again, iPhone. So maybe the iPhone is a little bit ahead here when it comes to iOS 10 versus uh, Android Developer Preview 3. But then again, you know, uh, it does have a beast processor at the end of the day, iPhone 6s. Uh, so we can just have a look at the actual web browsing. I have cleared down the uh, Safari so it is fair here and we can just uh, have a look at some websites so let's check out Verge so let's see Verge so that was the Nexus much quicker there to conduct the search again so again the uh, Nexus a little bit faster here uh, to load that up and we do have a new Microsoft uh, Xbox One S coming which is very interesting So I think this was the iPhone then, it seemed to load the components a little bit faster with this one. So that's quite a catch up there. And we do have 
the phone arena website which I do like go so the Safari seems a bit slow to me on iOS 10 compared to Google Chrome on Android uh, developer preview 3 just click on a link but it does load it a bit faster when you're actually going into it it just seems to be coming from like a search where it's a bit slow so probably some in improvement could be had there I think with the Safari on iOS 10 uh, just want to do a quick little uh, Geekbench as well to see if we can see any improvement when it comes to this so do we have Geekbench? I don't think we do so let's just uh, get this on so this should be quite quick to get on hopefully so one thing I do like about iPhone apps is you just install straight away nearly and let's run this I don't think both of them are the best when it comes to the battery life you can see both of them are draining down quite quickly uh, now that they are a little bit older that's a problem with small capacity batteries they don't last for long well you can see the uh, single core and multi core is still very strong here with the iPhone on iOS 10 so I can't remember the actual score for iOS 9 but be interesting if I can find that I'll probably post it in the video description so you can see if there's a difference and Android is a little bit slower here uh, you can see both the single core and multi core but it's a decent score nevertheless you know it's not uh, terrible at the end of the day and I just want to round off this video a little bit of multitasking see if there's any differences here both of them coming with similar RAM you can see no reload here I think uh, iOS definitely still manages its resources a little bit better than than uh, Nexus I don't think that even responded then or did it so that was a little bit buggy so it did respond but it took ages so I did see that as I said I think the uh, Nexus software is a little bit more stable here let's check the camera a little bit faster to go back into it so I think you can see here this is a little bit better when it comes to the multitasking when it's stable but there was quite a big crash there so it might not be quite as stable as the uh, latest Android uh, developer preview but one thing that is interesting is how all these operating systems seem to be converging on each other in terms of you know the features uh, so obviously with the latest iOS 10 you do get this slight like, information panel coming up here and if you do put on Google now you have the same kind of thing coming on the left side so you know uh, that uh, I think Apple is taking some ideas from Google there uh, and also obviously they all are becoming quite big on having uh, like uh, lots of information coming up on the notification shade and that's one thing you will find here more uh, like uh, thought put into the notification kind of application so 
Uh, some definite uh, interesting stuff here when it comes to the you know speed I think you can see here the apps was a little bit faster on the iOS 10 but maybe not quite as stable when it comes to you know uh, comparing with Android developer preview 3 which as I said I've been using on my 6p and it's been quite good so oh yeah and we do also have multitasking here with the latest uh, Android so I would have liked to have seen that on iOS 10 but we don't unfortunately uh, but you know maybe they'll put it on on the you know further beaters uh, but yeah hope you enjoyed the video found it helpful and I'll see you in the next one cheers